One of the um, things I like to talk about when I, when I talk about learning to be a, a therapist, a, a counselor, um, and our program is, is communication. All that the counselor really has um, to help another human being um, is communication. It's listening and it's, and it's all, the, all the nuances of verbal and nonverbal behavior as, as well. It's the person of the therapist that, that brings about healing and change because people, people are harmed in relationship, people are healed in relationship, um, or at least improved in, in relationship. Uh, and, uh, and then communication is the, is the medium uh, of that relationship. And that, I love that because what could be more biblical than communication, than studying communication? It, as believers, the study of communication and intimate communication belongs to us. Think about self-disclosure. Um, the second person of the Trinity is named himself Word. A word is a communication device. Our God, by name and nature, is a revealer. He's a self-discloser. Um, we, uh, we could hold a Bible here, we could open it up and say, in the Word of God, the Word of God becomes an open book to us. He is the Word. Is He also a listening God? Oh, well, certainly He hears our prayers. Um, one of the central prayers of Judaism is called the Shema. Uh, Shema Yisrael Adonai Elohenu Adonai Chad. Uh, Hear Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, or the Lord alone is our, our God. Um, and the word for here is Shema. Well, wonderfully in Psalm 65 2, Yahweh himself is called Shema. He is the Shema. He is the one who hears. Um, just as he calls himself Word, our God names himself Word, our God uh, is also named Shema. He is the one that hears. So, we study um, active listening. One of the things that we, we just work on the skills of over and over again is how to make sure that we are actively listening to clients, how to, uh, real listening, real deep listening is a rare commodity in our culture. It's not a natural, it's, it's not a given. What we're doing when, we, when we're with a client, uh, when we are listening well, we are helping them teach us the things we need to know to help them. Uh, and there are lots of layers. Uh, for them to go down and once the environment is safe and they know that there's a caring listener there um, they can they can open up they can share the things that, that they need to share that need to get off their chest and they and that we need to know to, to help them and so we teach listening skills but we also teach answering skills and that has a lot to do with the self-disclosure of the counselor the communication ability of the counselor to help the client see things in in new ways, in different ways. So um, we're learning skills that help us work with clients and we're, we're actually modeling skills that help them live more successfully with one another.